Do you feel like your partner, family or friends are soulless or have no soul? Do you really believe that there are 8 billion incarnated souls on earth? Have you always wondered if you are an extra and soulless or if you are a creator soul? Have you always wondered how you can tell whether the person you're talking to is soulless or an extra? Hello and welcome to The Matrixes with Jonathan and Nikki to our second edition or our second part of our six part series on the subject of what we have all been passionate about for a long time, extras. Today we're gonna to show you five signs on how to tell if your partner or your boyfriend or anyone else you're personally involved with is an extra Or maybe he has a soul. So this video is about, is your partner soulless? Was it created by the Matrix AI only for you? We are happy that you all tuned in again. You've been asking for this video for a long time and wanted to know what our new findings are on the subject of extras, soulless people, soulful people. Are there even 8 billion people on this planet as we are supposedly told? How do we recognize extras or people with soul? We have some there. Ideas put together, I say, of course, also dealing with extras. Of course, we'll explain to you what are extras or soulless people and what role do they have in the matrix. Yes, we released a video about two years ago, I think. 99% of people are extras in this world. And this video created a lot of uproar. Still, and still, we still receive emails about this topic today, and we were repeatedly asked to perhaps make a follow-up video to explain this better and more precisely. Well, we didn't do that the whole time because we also noticed that a lot of people then started to judge extras negatively. Yes, we have a telegram channel. It's called Matrixa. And the topic of extras is still a hot topic even now, two years later. It is discussed again and again, almost daily and not always positively. Many people then want to cast their family as extras and say, oh, I don't want to have anything to do with my family or friends anymore. They're all just extras. This is not particularly helpful when dealing with the matrix or for personal consciousness development because extras also have their task and function for personal consciousness development. You don't see that so well in everyday life, but from a higher perspective or if you've just moved on in your life for a few years, and then look back, you see, oh, somehow that maybe had a meaning. Even though he was an extra, she was an extra, whatever. Yeah, right. So what we want to say is that the matrix AI, which creates this reality for us here, with the extras it creates in order to, of course, have the best possible experience on this planet. There are extras who will bother you. There are extras who will annoy you. There are extras who will terrorize you. But there are also extras who help you, who support you. That's why you shouldn't lump all extras together. That's just our statement. Yes, we mentioned that 99% of all people in the world are extras. That would mean that only 1% globally would be creator gods.
So really, those who have just incarnated on Earth, the other 99% would all be created by AI. Well, of course, that caused a lot of furor because hardly anyone can imagine that if I'm sitting at a table with... hundred people, then it can't be that I'm the only creator God. And of course that caused a lot of reactions and we will now explain how we can divide this 100% according to our personal assessment. You can now say yes, extras 99% or we also refer to them as hosts and creator gods 1%, which we also often refer to as sharers. So they are synonyms. Yes, Shiva, exactly. Let's get started. What types of extras are there? Our first chapter. What types of extras are there? So 90% of that 99% are permanent extras created by the Matrix AI that you can meet everywhere in the cinema, in the cafe, in the restaurant, in the park, at work, I don't know where. That's where you can find them in large quantities. Exactly, just for entertainment. Of these 9% who are then left as extras, they cannot necessarily be described as standard extras. No, I wouldn't do that either. Yes, they are, I would say, special extras. Clones are primarily used in politics or in other key positions that have something to do with politics. I'll give an example. Yes, be specific here. So you all know that picture of Hillary Clinton ripping off her mask and underneath you can see a reptilian face. You know that. And of course, if you pull the mask off Hillary's face, it's not like there's a reptilian face underneath. This is meant metaphorically, so that means how do you go about it? One would like to be Mrs. Maybe let Clinton push a different agenda politically. So Hillary Clinton suddenly disappears and then you create a clone of Hillary Clinton, who was initially an extra. There's no one in there. And then some reptile arrives with its cryocapsule, lies down in the cryocapsule, and tunes itself into Hillary, and boom, we have a clone with a reptile in it. He looks like Hillary. He looks like Hillary. So this is a very popular approach, including from reptilians. Yes, from many species, beings, aliens, to push their agendas. And of course, this is often done with politicians who are perhaps very disruptive to one group or another. Another type of extras are the guards, loopers, and agents assigned by the AI, also on the 4D level. We have already made a video about the guards and loopers. I think that meant lucidity in everyday life. These agents and guardians are broadly responsible for either stopping you from your spiritual development. Yes, period, actually that, exactly. Roughly. Well, the loopers and the guardians, primarily. Yes, then there are the other extras who can also be taken over by our spirit guides. Or 5D beings who are well disposed towards us and want to support us, who then briefly slip into an extra or take over mentally and transmit information that is somehow very important for our current life, consciousness development, actually, For everyone, Art, can they come in for a moment and take over as an extra? 
Yes, that was actually all kinds of extras that there are. Exactly. Perhaps we should list them again in a very brief overview. Yes, we'll show them again, right? Yes, we'll show them again now. Okay, then another overview. We have 1% real sharers from the source or Australia. Then, of course, we have the clones that are taken over for political agendas, secret space programs, scientific programs, genetic research. Then we have the AI deployed guards, loopers and agents. And all the other extras can be taken over by temporary ghost listeners and 5D friends or by agents. And in the long term, these remaining extras can also be taken over by souls for an incarnation, for an entire period of life or even for a change in reality. The remaining sharers can come from the source, i.e. the astral plane or from the cryo capsules. And here we distinguish between a full-time sharer and a part-time sharer, where the full-time sharers are in the body from birth and the part Time sharers like the star seeds are simply walk ins. Exactly, the extras or souls can be hacked for a short time by briefly docking in a conversation and saying a sentence, so to speak, but they can also be hacked for a long time and then thrown out again. At the end. Yes, then let's get to the chapter you've all been waiting for the solution. How do I recognize an extra? Oh yes, an exciting topic. Now if you ask yourself, who is an extra? Is my friend an extra? Is my partner an extra? Is my family member an extra? Is my work colleague an extra? This question naturally arises when one deals with dissociation, with spiritual dissociation, and in general with the topic of the matrix, AI and extras. And you can never say 100% whether you are really dealing with an extra. That's already difficult because you can only tell 100% when you are actively in a dissociative state, then you can suddenly recognize the extras very easily. This often starts in dissociation level one. At the latest in dissociation level two, you can immediately identify the extras. And yes, that is a point that, of course, raises the question of how do you deal with an extra once you have identified him? In any case, we don't want you all to become racists and portray the extras as evil whites. As mentioned before, the extras have their job. There are extras who can lead you astray. There are extras who give you tips and hints on your way. Very different. You have something similar in a computer game. True. You go into the computer game and meet computer-generated characters, the so-called NPCs, non-player characters. So these are people in the game created by the programmer that you meet. dealer or bartender or someone else, a doctor or someone else who then meets you in the game and then gives you tips, who maybe wants to trick you or who is honest about it. And of course you think at that moment, oh, that's an evil extra. He won't tell me where the princess is hidden. He wants to lure me in the wrong direction, but you can't know 100% during the game whether he wants to stop you from finding the princess or the prince. Or whether he actually helps you or not. And then of course there are the classic opponents. They are definitely the worst extras. For this reason, it is important to treat an extra with compassion and to be completely open with him, even if you have identified him. You don't have to tell him that he's an extra. 
because if you tell an extra that he's an extra, he'll either deny it or laugh at you or call you crazy and then maybe try to talk to your... parents or with your partner, whether everything is still okay with you mentally, yes, you have to expect that. For this reason, we recommend that if you identify one or more extras, keep it to yourself. Collect information. Treat everyone equally, regardless of whether they are creator gods or extras or hosts or sharers. And yes, collect the information you need to use the matrix AI to see through and understand more and more. Yes, and if you are really 100% sure that the person you are talking to is an extra, and you are 100% sure that this extra will never be of any help to you or will only ever cause you. Harm, even though the damage is a teacher, so to speak. But anyway, if you are absolutely sure that you don't want to have anything to do with this extra, for whatever reason, you can just stay away from this. Extra in the long run, if he is a friend, and if so, it is the mother. No matter, then you move away, break off contact permanently, or reduce it to a friendly hello and small talk. Yeah, right. I would also recommend this if you are 100% sure that it is an extra who is trying to somehow dissuade you from the path, or who declares everything you believe and the experiences and insights you encounter. On your spiritual path to be nonsense, then it is recommended, yes, to reduce contact with this extra to a minimum. So as already mentioned, you can only 100% recognize an extra in the dissociative state, in the active dissociative state. But we know there are also some of you who have problems with spiritual dissociation or to reach the dissociative state. You are still practicing, but you would still like to know, yes, is my partner an extra? Is my mother an extra? My brother, my father, my work colleague, etc.? And there are a few pieces of evidence that we are now sharing with you that show you, as sad as it is, he is an extra. And based on this, you can roughly identify the extras because they play the game. If you believe in spirituality, in parapsychology, or in aliens, and UFOs, or in ghosts, they just play a part, maybe even tell an anecdote. Something that is typical for the Matrix AI and its extras is, for example, yes, my grandma has seen a ghost before. Yes, that happened here and there, and it was totally exciting and scary. Yes, and that settles the issue. Then the extra changes to another wacky topic. That's right, you also said that she often suddenly switched to age-related topics. Correct. And then you sit there and always think to yourself, yes, but we wanted to philosophize or we wanted to talk about what experiences and insights we might have gained. And you notice that they talk about it for a few minutes and then they keep diverting to everyday life, always bringing up different topics, changing topics, because the Matrix AI's job is to provide you with as much knowledge as possible about the existence of aliens and UFOs disguise their existence or represents the ingenious usability of spiritual dissociation as an illness so that people don't use it because the Matrix AI doesn't find it funny at all. If you suddenly disappear from the screen and then no longer think at all, then it can no longer be scanned and assessed at all. and all things like that. So you can quickly recognize an extra who is always careful to only talk to a limited extent about such spiritual or extraterrestrial topics or paranormal topics, perhaps offering an anecdote or reacting with jokes. Or jokes, so then you notice, okay, everything is clear. 
You can also ask trick questions or trigger questions. How does the other person react to this? Of course not with the question. Then he won't react according to your expectations and then you'll immediately label him as an extra. Not that, please. Really, take your time and don't just ask a question and then conclude that you are an extra or a non-extra. Yeah, right. What do you think about ghosts? So don't go straight there. Hey, what do you think of ghosts? But maybe somehow tell an anecdote yourself or tell something. An experience. It's best to have an experience and see how the other person reacts to what they say about it. Because we keep getting emails that say, wow, I can't talk to anyone about these topics because my husband or wife don't think much of this stuff at all. The suspicion that the person is an extra is then very likely. Or as I said, the soul plan doesn't say awakening yet, but do not forget. Yes, but as a rule, you can say that you have got yourself an extra and then you just have to think about how to deal with it. Either you try to build up a distance from the extra, but of course, if you have built up a whole family with the extra, that is very difficult. You can only hope that maybe a nice walk-in will come in at some point and take over as an extra. Or maybe it even gets hacked every now and then to keep you on the path or pretending to dissuade you so you can get back on track out of spite. There are so many methods spirit guides use to keep you on track, yes. So typical arguments from statists are always structured like this. Tell a short anecdote, change the subject. Or when it comes to aliens, then most of the time, yes, they arrive with evolution. Or, for example, a popular topic is, yes, if so many aliens live there in the entire universe, then why doesn't anyone come by here? Then why doesn't someone land and say, hey guys, we're the aliens from Mars or Jupiter or somewhere else, and reveal themselves? These are typical arguments that come across like that, but that doesn't necessarily have to be the case in spirituality. But normal topics in everyday life, it's often the case that as a creator God, you think, I just don't understand why he thinks like that. I just don't understand it because the facts are all on the table and he still doesn't want to believe it and denies it. And still insists on his old or on his opinion. So there are all sorts of clues that are, yes, pretty much indications that you are dealing with an extra. Of course, it's not 100% proof, it's just not possible. This can only be achieved in an active, dissociative state. Otherwise, we can only talk about circumstantial evidence, but often the circumstantial evidence is almost quite evident. Yes, and if you already have an expanded state of consciousness through training dissociation, and have really arrived in your heart, you can feel whether the person you are talking to is a person with a soul or a person without a soul. Of course, you need an expanded consciousness for this. So you've already trained a lot, either just stilling your thoughts, meditating a lot or dissociating a lot so that you can really feel it 100%. So you have to really, really reach your heart in order to recognize, in order to feel the other person too, because you feel the heart you feel the soul of the other person or not. But as I said, this is also a matter of training and has a lot to do with the practice of dissociation. Yes, and to recognize a very simple story from extras, as I said, not 100% either. As I said, it may be a sleeping god. Well, if you have someone who is really deep into their patterns and roles into their everyday life, someone who really gets up at 8 a.m. Every day does the same thing, drinks coffee, goes to work, sits in front of the TV in the evening, drinks a beer and goes to sleep at 10 a.m. Who really can hardly get out of these patterns and roles, always has the same everyday life, 
goes to the neighbors for a barbecue on Sundays and is really not interested in anything else. As I said, this is just an indication, but usually a very good one. Like the neighbor next door with his dachshund and his picture newspaper, you think? To call that a cliché? Yes, exactly, the cliché extras. Yes, the cliché extras. So there are also different variations of extras, all of which were created by the Matrix career, but also follow certain patterns. Like the pattern Shiva mentioned now with the dachshund owner and the picture newspaper, but there are other patterns too. Typical boss patterns in a company or typical employee patterns in a company and the like. So you can suddenly recognize these patterns where you think like this. So I think there are 10 million of these types in this world. So that's often a little hint. But please consider it as a hint only. Yes, another way to recognize extras is, of course, to work on your own pineal gland. Exactly. We have already created an online seminar on how to stimulate your pineal gland. Reactivated. And that's where you can learn to use your pineal gland again. And when the pineal gland suddenly kicks in, you can also recognize the extras, for example. And one last way to recognize extras, if you have, for example, someone in front of you who has an incredibly high creative power, who is incredibly creative, and everything he does is artistic or even deals with art or creates art, where you, you feel the attention to detail or no idea something. For example, yes, my father is a carpenter, sure. Most carpenters are probably extras, but my father created and created things. So you can only call it created. You're like, wow. Then you realize that there may not be an extra behind you. So it really has to do with creativity and creativity, art, culture, something like that. Well, an extra would always proceed according to plan, even just as he was programmed. You make a cupboard like this, you make a table like this, complete, exactly to measure as specified, and so on. And yes, there is no room for creativity or anything like that, because that would be an additional program that the Matrix AI would have to install. And it almost never does that. There are certain limits to the creativity of the extras. Yes, creativity is, as the word already says, creation. We are creations or yes gods. Creativity or creation comes from within, from within you. So if you have really creative people, you can usually assume that someone is already there, whether they are sleeping or not. To find out whether your partner, work colleague, family member, brother, sister, or anyone else is an extra or not. There's this video you're watching right now, again, in a longer, more detailed version, with a lot more points, with a lot more explanations and instructions. You can get these at gehirnkicker.d. Yes, we are doing a video series with six videos. This is really concentrated knowledge. And that's when we decided to combine this concentrated knowledge into a video course. As I said, you can find it on gehirnkicker.d. And afterwards, you can continue watching the long and detailed version in the course for those who are interested. Because not everyone is interested in the topic of extras in detail, but for the diehards and those who want to leave the matrix, they, of course, want to know everything. And that's why we decided to make a whole video course out of it. And that's right, you'll find it either weekly or every two weeks, depending on how extensive our topic is. I would say it will be exciting. Oh yes, very exciting. So that means we always publish a short version of the video on YouTube. Because there are a lot of people who click away from the video after just 10 minutes because it's too long for 
them or because they just want superficial information on the topic. And videos that long aren't that advantageous. We thought about it for YouTube. And that's why the longer, more detailed, much longer version is available in our shop at gehengicker.de. So we'd be happy if you came to Gin Kickle D and then listened to and watched the complete version. And yes, that's where it gets really exciting again. Of course, you can also ask questions in our members area, exchange ideas with each other, and then discuss the whole thing again yourself under the videos. Of course, we will also answer your questions on the respective topics. Yes, it was always fun. Oh yes, that was another very long video. But yes, about extras. We could tell many, many stories about extras, many experiences that we have had ourselves. And we have also received so many letters from people who practice spiritual dissociation. And they all see extras. Through the bank, there isn't one person who practices dissociation who would say, no, I didn't see any extras. Nope. Yes, everyone who trains spiritual dissociation sees them. Yes, I believe. We have reached the end. Yes, we wish you all the best and I hope to see you again in the next video. Yes, and see you then. Take care and we look forward to your comments. And of course, if you also take a look at the full version Take care, bye. That's all for today. See you next time.